Your presence for us here is a miracle and it's a blessing. Guiding us today, guiding us today, we are. Father, we thank you for your joy this morning. We thank you for your mercies that endures forever. And even as we start this day, Lord, we commit it unto you that you will be the author and the finisher of all things. We know that you have started a good work, you will bring it to accomplish. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, every, every distraction, every confusion, we cut them off in the name of Jesus. And we declare and declare that this day is fruitful and productive. That each and every one of us here, we are living with a testimony. We are living with hope. We are living with joy. And we receive words of insights from our invited delegates. We bless your holy name. And we thank you for the perfect weather. That the weather is perfect protection and guidance in this place. We thank you, Lord, that as we have started, that you put it to an end. In the right that you in the way that you want us to do thank you holy spirit in jesus much less name we pray i welcome you all to this hospital cell and sit comfortably security is guaranteed i wish you a safe discussions. Thank you very much. Gesa Apollo. Uh, my name is Chairman ROC1. Rose Mlon. I normally put my title at the end, Mrs. I'm proud to be somebody's uh, wife. I say this because the person who preached on my wedding is just next to me here. <laughs> And he must, he must be happy that I'm still, I've, I've never filed a divorce. <laughs> so opportunity to welcome all of you. And allow me to mention just but a few individuals who have honored our invitation this morning. Among them is our representative from our board of trustees. Madam Rebecca Chisolo, you are most welcome. Thank you. Representative of our executive director, Dr. Mia, you are most welcome. We have the representative of Dean Usitema University, Dr. Valie Gusa. We have our RPC this morning here with us. So security is guru guru. 
We have the director from Vukedea Teaching University. You are most welcome. We have the district health officer, Budaka. We have a representative from IU, Okamayu. We have center program manager from Taso Soroti. Just at a later time, we will see. You are most welcome. We have somebody from UPMB, Dr. Byron. 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 <laughs> you are most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we have our regional health coordinator, Richard. Yes, you are most welcome. <laughs> Members, if I have not mentioned you here, don't take that I have not recognized you, but it's because we have not yet put your title and name down here. But uh, is that we normally come together to celebrate what has happened since we were last here. We were here last year again to celebrate what had happened previously. And here we are today celebrating and accounting for our activities during the past one year. This year's theme is Empower and let me be sure of what I'm saying. Communities lead. I wanted to get that one very clear. Let communities lead. Who are the communities? It is you and me. And who should lead the activities? It is you and me. And as we know, Taso Uganda is an organization which is supported by paid up members. So, every year, if you have had an opportunity to become a member of TASO, every year you are expected to renew your membership. If you are not yet a member, as the TASO people, we are expected to get out and reach to you so that you become part and parcel of this movement. Without us helping the TASO organization, the activities cannot be fully handled. We are all aware of the fatigue from our donors Every year, funds keep reducing, and yet every year there are new infections, and there are people who have suppressed the virus. Therefore, every year, they have to continue with their medication. And if the funders are getting tired, then who should stand in to support our sisters, our brothers, our children, and ourselves? to make sure that our lives continue going forward. Having said that, I want to request everybody who is here, including our guest of honor, that every time we are out there and we are meeting groups of people, different whether working or not, let's talk about TASO activities and let's invite them to become part of us so that we can help and save that life you never know. Maybe it might be your sister, your brother, your child who is being saved. Having said that, it's not yet time for me to give my report, but I just wanted to welcome all of us, and I want to say, Phil at Sombale, we plan that by 2 p.m. we shall be out of this place, but I want to wish all of us a very fruitful day. Fruitful in that when we come to reports, let's not leave it to one or two people. Let all of us join and discuss the reports. That's when we shall 
have made a meaningful meeting today. Having said that, I want to wish all of us well. And in case you have any problem and you don't know where to go, you don't know whom to approach, we have our staff moving up and down. Most of them are putting on white tops. Please contact them so that you don't sit and you feel uncomfortable and yet there are people who can help you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you so much for coming. And the meeting is officially opened and therefore I take this opportunity to ask one of the Center Advisory Committee members to take us through the previous means, and that is none other than Rehema. My name is Wanjiro Rehema. I'm the Balisite HIV focal person, and I'm also a member of the CAG Subaleta You are most welcome. We are going through on our minutes. That is on page 15. And these were the annual meeting minutes for the last AGM in 2023. We are specifically going to look at the actions that we are taken in that meeting and what was the status that we have achieved. The registration which was done. Minute two, we looked at the guest of honor received and that one was done. We also, minute three, went through the national anthem, East African anthem, all the anthems that day, and they were done. Minute four, the meeting started with the prayer, and this one was done. Uh, we shall go to page 16. That's where our actions are. One of the actions on minute seven was to distribute previous minutes before the CGM and this has been done to number the minute pages to put tassel log to put the tassel log on all minute pages to distribute previous minutes before the meeting for review and this was done so all minutes were reviewed. When we go to minute eight, we are looking at community leakages assistance to make work a plan to sensitize clients about the insurance scheme. And consultative meetings are on to engage past members and attract new ones. Work a plan and schedule for the meeting was done. Make work plans for both sensitizing and counseling sessions to address new concerns and attitudes towards HIV. It is also the referral of stable clients to the community points. Still ongoing. 2017 was to scale up on reminders. The status two points were approached concepts seeking for external funding or donations to support community work initiatives. And the proposals for, fine, for funding was written awaiting response. And this is still ongoing. More concepts are being written. The next was to integrate expert clients in activities as needed with the organizations that deal with GPV prevention and support and then map, especially the sick. A detailed mortality audit was done and is still ongoing as we manage the clients. Minute eight, we are looking at the management report and what was the actions there. One was to scale up on retention strategies and it's still ongoing. Uh, we have the community drug Drug distribution points, stroke activities integration for mother baby cares, and this one is still ongoing. My name is Lawrence Osilo from Magodes. Thank you very much. Any, any, anybody? Is I, have been, I have been a member for over 20 years, so 
I'm grateful with the Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Someone. I'm taking the emotion. Thank you. Thank you. Ask for any reactions if you have. So it is more meaningful when we all get involved in the discussions. Thank you. These 7,134 clients received peer support through two youth and adolescent peer support, supporters. Nine clients, council members, and three expert clients. As we stand here, Bitri Swenene is my name, chairperson client, client council Mbale, and next to me, I have Isa Peter as the secretary. Then we have Kiai Sara as a member of the client council. On my side, you can introduce himself. Yeah, thank you. I am Nabugus Ali, the PLHIV coordinator Mbale. That is him. We can go to the next page. On the sad note, 48 clients, 24 female, 24 male, died from October 2023 to June 2024, including the expert client who worked as a mentor mother, Buwenya Kana, supporting PMTC, that is prevention of mother to child transmission. I think let us have a moment of silence for their sort rest in peace. Amen. We pray that the Almighty God may rest their souls in peace. We condole with the families of our clients who lost their loved ones since we met last year. We have some achievements as the client council members. These are some of our achievements. One, we have expert clients continue to create demand for different services offered at Asombale, i.e. we have the medical, voluntary medical male circumcision, TB screening, HIV testing services. We, we held two client council meetings since September 2023 and forwarded the outcomes to the management and the center advisory committee. We attended the National Client Council, which was held in Irukunjiri on 23rd and 24th July, where all the outcomes were forwarded to the board. Miss Adite Roda was re-elected as a female client representative to the board. That is the secretary of Soroti, Taso, Taso Soroti. Phone call reminders make made by the expert clients have supported the retention and as we call upon the clients to update these telephone contacts for easy follow-up we request our dear clients that you may give us the right phone calls so that following up our clients is not hard we know we must also love ourselves when you give wrong contacts things may fall apart so make sure when you come here or when you meet one of the tasso members or the staff give us the correct phone calls for the phone numbers. 84 percent of the active clients are served with six or four months of the artery fields lessening the, lessening the transport burden. We have continued to mobilize the fellow clients to pay the membership and we appeal to all of us to support us all by paying membership or re renewing your subscription. That one has been ma already mentioned by the Kaka chairperson. Let us renew our subscription. Availability of the drugs to, to treat opportunistic infections and other comorbid conditions such as high blood pressure, diabetes, imp improved clients' experience at the facility. In this vein, we appeal to all clients to support and pay the clients' welfare scheme of 3,000 per year. That is aimed at boosting the purchase of the opportunistic infection drugs and other laboratory agents. We pledge to our dear clients that when that is contributed, I think as we come even to the, the CDDPs, 
Because now we may think that people come at the center, they are the only beneficiaries. We are requesting our dear clients, when we pay the 3,000, as we come out there to our CDDPs, we shall be coming with some drugs for the opportunistic infection to see that we retain and maintain the health of our clients. We have partnered with local authorities like Kimbale City and district authorities to the drama, through the drama group to raise awareness and create demand for services like HTS, that is health testing services, tuberculosis screening, GBV, gender-based violence, and cervical cancer challenges. The high cost of living affects access to drug pickup points. That one is within our clients, but we request our clients the cases of the gender-based violence among our clients. As we have said, one of the services we offer here it is gender-based violence services. So we are challenged with transport and lack of facilitation for the follow-up. Our DC clad members, if you are around, I'm just saying we are sorry, as already the Kaka chairperson has said, that our donors, they have they are they are having hardship with the financial issue. So when you see that they are not facilitating the CD clad members, don't lose hope. Everything will come back to normal. We have noted, we have noted an increasing burden of non-communicable diseases among the clients. Missed appointments still exist due to transport challenges, competing priorities, and hence unsuppressed viral load. Our clients, I'm just requesting that let us not miss our appointments because the number of non-suppressors is increasing on daily basis. And you know when that increases, it becomes a burden this side because again you're brought back to the center where they have to monitor you. So before that happens, I pray that let us adhere to our treatment and, we and we, all of us become suppressors, not again non-suppressors. <laughs> the secret leaders, CASA to improve peer-to-peer -peer support. Sensitize and mobilize the membership and the client welfare scheme to raise funds to support in the purchase of drugs for opportunistic infections. Mentorships and skilling clients to start up income generating activities to manage the high cost of living. My dear clients, I'm just requesting that we also cope up with our communities because there are so many income generating activities which you can also get one and you think he has offered some finance in the, maybe like the PDM. Let us also be members on those things. A group and also register as a CPO. This goes to our drama group. Don't lose hope. Don't think that we have forgotten you. We are still available for the continuous funding of the TASO's activity. Thank you, thank you very much. Network of people living with HIV. I take this opportunity to thank and appreciate the key players in supporting persons living with HIV to live a healthy life. It's worrying that about 1.4 million persons on earth and approximately 80,000 are non-suppressors. Such numbers contribute to about 50,000 new infections annually, which majority uh, being youths. Uh, fellow persons living with HIV, I appeal to you, all, all of you to adhere to treatment, avoid progression to advance HIV disease. There are rising complaints from clients about the side effects of cause, side effects caused by prolonged use of TDF 3D, 3T CDTG. We appeal to health workers to routinely monitor and listen to client complaints to address the side effects by switching clients to a combination like a combination TAF FT CDTG earlier. The increasing cases of GBV including stigma and psychological torture, especially among discontent couples, are a concern. We, we are asking men, why torture your partners? We are meant to support her in taking her pills as prescribed and live happily. 
Someone will go that hearings cannot transmit. <laughs> Let us 
That is voluntary medical male circumcision, TB screening and testing services, and uh, so many other services. Anything we are saying about that? Florence, where are you? Report. Thank you very much. Maru prison is. ACP, Mastula, Achumbara, Mr. Isaac, 
Mu pira. Kemosoka. We shall continue to recognize those who are arriving. And above all, we recognize the presence of all our clients who are present. Florence, where is the microphone? Proposals to which group? Is it to ask the speaker of officers which group are you writing to? Find our proposals. And then, too, I wanted to know how much is registered as a CBO. I can put some little money there. Thank you. Thank you very much, DHO Budaka. These proposals are open to any organization. They write according to where they think they can always find something to, to support them. And uh, my request is that if you are here and you know some of those uh, organizations that can support such groups, kindly get in touch with us so that we can uh, always support this drama group. And I want to take this opportunity to say thank you very much for the offer Though you have not attached the cost, I don't know how Mwajega has pledged to contribute something towards us cash. Where is David? Where is David? If you want me to put this money in my bag, then it gets confused with the money for tomatoes. <laughs> And I'm not turning this money to the client council because it has to be receipted. As we wait for David to come and you return, you come back with the receipt. Thank you. Thank you very much. Members, that is the spirit. Chairperson. <laughs> you know you have some <laughs> something to say. Give us the microphone, please. This was Pana Dosenda. I was a chairperson of CAC, but I was also a panel secretary of the Board of Trustees in Tasso Uganda for six years. Uh, mine is the, to propose and submit on what is available. Ideally, I'm surprised that the CBO has not been registered because this idea is as old as six years plus. But I wanted to propose and advise that CBOs in our city are registered under a community-based organization. Most of you who work in cities or maybe local governments, you know. So the community-based department is the one which registers CBOs, but you must have one that membership that uh, Dr. Wajega has contributed, but you have, must also have a constitution and you must have also membership. So I wanted to request the psychosocial coordinator or the center manager takes this up because this is something which can be done within even two months, I mean two weeks. And within two weeks we shall have a CPO so long as you have the membership and the membership are the clients. You have the constitution and if the constitution is not there, there are many people who can support, including the lawyers. Uh, number three, uh, the money which was lacking, the money is now there. Why are we delaying? Let us have this one written, because if the constitution is written and is registered, it is very easy for you people to be supported and even register and also benefit from PDM. I beg to submit. Thank you. But, and now that most of us have these reports in front of us, Chain with half of your head without <laughs> the invited guests in your respective capacities, ladies and gentlemen. I salute you. Uh, I take this opportunity to thank all of you for honoring our invitation to this 27 center annual general meeting. I'm by the names of Dr. Kauba Akufaka, and I'm the Center Programs Manager, Tasombali. On behalf of management, staff, the volunteers, allow me to welcome you to this occasion 
our theme, I want to re-echo the theme, which is uh, to empower and let communities lead. We shall do this using the right tools for effective community-led interventions to end HIV and related suffering. The fact that you've come here, it confirms to us the collaborative commitment towards ending the AIDS epidemic, especially in the Mbari region. Allow me on a sad note to report to you that during the year, some of our clients, the friends and relatives lost the battle to HIV AIDS in the past year. We pray that their souls continue to rest in eternal peace. May we observe a moment of silence for this. May their soul rest in peace. We appreciate you all for being part of the Tasso family and making untold sacrifices towards helping humanity. Thank you very much. At this juncture, allow me to introduce <coughs> the team that participates in this service delivery, as, as I will detail at a later time. Uh, all the staff of Taso Mbale join me right here. Uh, the team have been introduced to you, guest of honor. Uh, at Tasombal is a team of 21 full-time staff and 18 volunteers. And this is built up by over 100 expert clients and peers in the communities. Uh, this are responsible for the tremendous job that is done at Tasombale and we are ever grateful for their service. Uh, the services that we offer at Tasombale Center of Excellence are comprehensive in nature and they, they, um, they do, they have a blend of empowerment. And this is done in the region of Bukisu, Bukedi, and Sebei. That is in eastern Uganda. Uh, to list but a few, these services include the prevention services, counseling, medical services, social support, reproductive, non-communicable disease management, TBHIV, among others. So through this coverage of the, of the Eastern region, Tasombal has served a cumulative number of 35,689 clients. As we speak now, our active client in care are 7,130. 134. That is by the end of June 2024. Allow me comment about the institutional support and resilience. Uh, guest of honor, <coughs> I take this honor to appreciate all the stakeholders Tasombale works with. Thank you very much for the Ubuntu spirit. We appreciate at the same time the generosity of the generosity of our community, it, for it has allowed us a conducive environment to sustain the HIV response in the region. The key stakeholders that we work with, I will mention a few, not in any specific order, and not meant to leave out some. We have the Uganda Protestant Medical Bureau, who are our funders, the AIDS Information Center, Uganda Women Education to support orphans, UESO, Mbale Regional Referral Hospital, 
Kusitema University, all the local governments that we serve in, the tenants, vendors, as I said to mention but a few. And in this regard, allow me to appreciate the Center Advisory Committee and the Grant Council for the strategic guidance that they have given to us during this past year. The programming, <coughs> we continue to prioritize the approach of person-centeredness, and this is focused to majorly our clients and the environment they live in. Evidence-based practice is at, at the core of our service delivery with the continuous monitoring and evaluation to, for further improvement. The center uses differentiated, differentiated service delivery models that I've highlighted under there, majorly in the community and also at the facility. The community programming, <coughs> that is majorly our core, is anchored on a foundation of a formidable infrastructure. This includes client leaders, local government leaders, cultural leaders, health workers, religious leaders to mention, but a few. Just of honor, allow me account for the year using the results. Under HIV testing services, we were able to test a total of 22,901 clients. This represented 78% of the number that we targeted to reach that year. Though we tested more males than the females. Through this testing, we identified a total of 147 HIV positive individuals, and all of these were registered at Tasombale and offered treatment. They are undergoing treatment. Of, these are, of the people we tested, allow me to note that 1,291 were biological children, and then the 131 were sexual partners to our clients. In this regard, we have continued to follow the guidelines of Ministry of Health by reaching out to our clients using the high-yielding modalities. Uh, these modalities include social network strategies, index testing, assisted partner notification, including testing at public gatherings, like at uh, when we, were at, we tested at Mototo Kalicho Grounds. For voluntary medical male circumcision, that is in the docket of prevention, we were able to circumcise 645 eligible men using the recommended approaches by the Minister of Health, the techniques that are, are recommended. And I am happy to report that all the males we circumcised registered no serious issues or what we call complications. Under gender-based violence, in the period under review, a total of 881 clients experienced gender-based violence, meaning that this is a snake that is in the house and all these clients were offered post-gender-based violence care, including psychosocial and trauma counseling, HIV testing, among other services. Allow me to uh, comment about pre-exposure prophylaxis. During the reporting period, still under prevention, we were able to, to we were able to offer drugs that prevent HIV infection to 680 
clients at the center. In addition to this number, in addition to that number, in our one of the researches that are running under TASO, but here at the Namakoeko Health Center, the site, we were able to offer 100 and to, to offer prevention services to 122 adolescent girls and young women. Uh, for your information, the catalyst study that I'm talking about expands prep choices. So it has brought on board vaginal rings to prevent HIV transmission and also long-acting injectable drugs. This is yet to start in the near future. I think by the close of this month, or early next month, we shall be taking on this at our Namakoeko site. Guest of honor, allow me to comment about the prevention of mother-to-child transmission of HIV. Here, a total of 200 pregnant mothers attended the, uh, attended the first antenatal visit in the reporting period. From this, we enrolled a total of 80 HIV-exposed infants into the PMTCT program. Allow me to applaud the team for the success that no, no baby turned positive were able to avert the infection in all the 80 babies. Thank you very much, team. Under care and treatment, we are serving a total of 7,134 clients, and of these, the children are 409. The breakdown is as, uh, as indicated there. Allow me to bring to your attention that 61% of these clients are served under the community arm. And the services extended to the community include, but not limited to, ARV refills, viral load bleeding, screening, and manage, management of comorbidities, plus empowerment. Among the, the clients that we served in the past year, the viral load suppression rate among the adults stood, it stands at 96%, and 95% among children. Guest of honor, allow me to bring it to your attention that this 95% in children indicates a 25% improvement from the performance of last year. And we are thankful to the teams, the partners, and also one of the projects that is on board, the Operation Triple Zero project. And at this juncture, we call upon all stakeholders, including the, 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 the caregivers to children, to support them to adhere to their medication. Uh, guest of honor, the, the total clientele I mentioned above, the 7,100 plus, are suppressing best. Under retention, the retention per duration of grant, we, we see that 96% of, of the grants who are receiving drugs for six months have been retained, while 86% for 12 months and 85% at 24 months. So it's kind of dropping. And we have devised strategies to improve the picture, especially getting to manage clients at a personal level, person-centeredness. Allow me to <coughs> take you through the performance under TB HIV. In the past three years, we treated a total of 114 TB clients. 64 males and 50 females. We successfully of this, we successfully treated 104 TB-infected clients. 
and 76%, 76 of these clients cured, meaning that we would, would demonstrate in the lab that there is no more TB in this client. 83 clients, they confirmed, the, the, the 76 out of the 83, we could uh, we were in position to demonstrate that the TB is completely gone using the lab. A case of honor, in re still in line with the TB, I'm sad to report that we lost a total of 10 clients to TB disease. Nine of them, we screened a total of 554 eligible women. And this represents 96% of what we, are, we targeted to test in that year. And of these, 72 women tested positive for cervical, for, they tested, they showed features of cervical cancer and they were treated. Under non-communicable diseases, this is a new problem that is, we've been with the, with the non-communicable diseases, but they're on the rise this time around. So we have enhanced screening and management, both at the facility and also in the communities. Uh, for mental health screening, we are in collaboration with the, the regional referral hospital and the university, that is Mustema University, to beef up this screening by them bringing on board more technical expertise into Tassos Mbali as a center. Under research and knowledge management, we have the Catalyst study that is implemented in Namakwekwe. This study expands the PrEP choices. Before, the PrEP we had was only tablets, so they are, it has brought on board the vaginal ring and then the injection. So uh, the injection will be offered in what we shall call the stage two, which is yet to start. So we call upon all of us to mobilize our people to participate in that study. So this one is running here and it, it has supported us tremendously, especially the area of the pediatrics. It's funded by the International Aid Society. Uh, we were privileged to present at the National QI Conference a project that was that we ran to reduce the, the proportion of children and adolescents who were misclassified three. That happened in Ginger. We were able to publish in the uh, British Medical uh, Journal the implemented the challenges that we face. The first challenge that we face, our goal here is to improve the quality of life. However, on a sad note, we lost the 48 clients, and the majority of them are those whom we have been with longer, the aged ones, 65 years and above. And the major causes of death, we know them. These are the non-infectious diseases, or what we call the non-communicable diseases, tuberculosis, then cancer, and other natural causes. Guest of honor, our, our clients are challenged with the income generating, sustainable livelihood. So in this regard, we, we are skilling the adolescent girls and young women and the boys uh, under the Uganda Development and Health Associates that has come on board to support us in this, in this regard. However, this is not enough. We call upon all the other stakeholders to come on board such that we can empower our clients. Uh, the reducing resource envelope to the center of excellence, it cripples service delivery. We, 
this we we are doing our best to reach out to the different stakeholders such that we can be able to give up this funding such that we don't lose out on this on the quality of services that we are supposed to offer. Uh, guest of honor and our dear clients, we we are battling with a, a challenge of uh, the unreported change in residential addresses and also the contacts. This uh, makes follow up a little hard. So we request that in case you, you change a, a residential address or contacts, we request that you communicate to us at the visit or using the hotline that we have here such that we can be able to serve you better. Uh, the, the funding, we, we are funded majorly by the United States Agency for International Development through the Uganda Protestant Medical Bureau. We are grateful and thankful for this partnership and collaboration. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Byron. Convey our sincere appreciations for this collaboration. <laughs> this funding is supplemented by the membership collection, contributions from well-wishers and tasso headquarters. Uh, under uh, the membership subscription, we were able to reduce a total of 3,200 subscribers. However, this is not enough, as we saw that our clientele is 7,134 active. We call upon all our clients to subscribe to our organization such that we can improve service delivery. Uh, guest of honor, Tasso under capacity building, it extends, it receives students from our surrounding and five universities, and we are able to give training opportunities to 18 local students from Uganda Christian University, Islamic University in Uganda, Makere University, Chambogo, among others. Plans for the next reporting period. Guest of honor, we pledge that we shall continue to engage the different stakeholders to, to sustain this epidemic control. We shall sustain three where we realized a total of 4,203,000. This is, for that year, we, we agreed with the client council that it should be used to support the orphans and vulnerable children. So that the process is ongoing to have that realized. And this year, we shall have our TASO run that always uh, culminates the the, the TASO birthday on 12 November 2024 and you are all invited to participate and support to, to improve the livelihood of our orphans and vulnerable children. Uh, we, we are in collaboration with the Uganda Development and Health Associates to skill the adolescent girls and young women. Hands with us or we want to end HIV AIDS by 2030. Thank you very much. Yours in the fight against HIV AIDS, God and my country. Thank you very much, Center Manager. At this moment, I request Florence to briefly. Manager Wefe Mukono. Empower and let communities lead. Mwamene, mwitangirile. Kuila bila bula mbo, kuila bila ango, kuila bila mungeri yosizan. 
kasaba kusomesa bati ngokuru kugana kufuna bulwale ya angu ka kibaneza bakwere da wame nuni yambira mu college in weye nyeche sibaku kubola chicha lero kat empower communities and let them do what lead kwira bila bulo mbula muwe kula bila makage nye kwira bila mbuli ngerio sisa ni ibe rithimu yiku mwaka guno ni chinda azire mumo ninga kubole rati mwaka guno kwa mange sita simba ale yata andikirira ya funabalwale mituwa logi datu muka kaga chinana muenda mwachifunira jobu lai kwa mange tasu yata andikirira mwaka ulukumi ruenda chinana mweka mimi akazi yata andika taso mbale ya andika bana abatu wabika au kababita mituwalo asatu mutano eh ebo bosi zana bali ano ba kasi ni zimbe ni basi zabo ne bosi zana adwen kuzire mu moninga akubole rati ba tu ba mu ye dereko kula biri da ba tu ano bosi zana paka nakatane abat eh kaka membersi abala mbalo mbalo regional referral hospital abala bitongo le bikuito le le basi abatu bi muki kanisa Aba lirano china, aba kwa koka siri ingive, sikulanga ba PMB, aba la AIDS Information Center, aba tuwa galina aba baga nikira, walume taso yo nye neki nya yako la chini, ya nya lisada aba simi, ni nanyanga mwadu ya gireko ba tuwa andibesu na makubala, na bona yu mkole ya kachiri, mba sima kwa baku ya dao. Aza mu mwana kumati, mkominiti, mubi alwesi kumenyayo, kulioni baba tuwa galina aba baku ya dao, Mujukira bali yaba tuwabezi ya kababa tusoka kwa zikadi Baza baba leti la mali siwa denga luna kulu wame nuchiri kwezi Bakiladi leaders Mwashibona atibona wabakuye dere Nenga anga kuzamumo na mali nizirenga aloma ati Mwaka guno kwa kebele batu Avili mubili luenda mumu dweni Atine chika vimbi mungeri kalinda hii Fekula makuti mbili kuba kwa badenga chila ilu kuwa batu wonga baba duile babata kubu yeti bale kakufada na henga anga bachiku kebe la bachiku kudu ya mbotu kwa vizu firi wene kuwa ato avili mubiri luenda mumu vivili chenda mwemu ngabalini na ngabalini kauka kwa chpone nga batu weba galina avi kima nisa kiti batu bachige sakana kauka kuli adwe noba lebe Kwi kasi wade chale rogu mwaka guno kwa vere mwaka guipalu Mchipo chimba alino china Nenga alipalu yesi bakala Yi mudu aliro Bakala vula ina avi Ni wade ni ini ili na inda ike kulome kutimbida Ni kulukulo makutino Iri inge yesi bajika lamo Kufuna vina anvulu ale vundi uweza gawoda Kati nyangino na bakalire badu ya batu Lukaga ana mutan Baliasi ki miaka liku mina gitano Nebibu leveli chika chika vimbi na abesa agani kireko buta banguko mumakagefe agani kirati ba tu luna na china na mwe mu ba funi le buta banguko mumakagawe mubone kudra mu vera ano kem kebo mubone usanga muisi la mutioda vili ingo yote nes kumenye wenga wezeka ano chale roa vera ano ba kusomese le kamakago gawe nga chiku bone ra. Iwa waba kwa mukawa mukata ni kakuulu ana kavi tu vindi vida mwafuli ne, e mwanya la na, a iyongerati, aliwa amale sikesi ba wabatu kuzi sakau, umoto kadi ni kauka, amire aleka kufuna kana kauka da. Jiti na chini yuko yodere sa malisi kuye da kuzi sabatu aleka kufuna kuyongera kufuna kauka da. A kwa lima kuti mwaka guno. Baka sivi zinda, vibiri Baba alini kauka Nyo wa sorole seleku bonanga Basala vana lawe Bosi zana Vana baba wala munga Kwa alini kauka daira Chinana kumu waka Kusivurumu ananga asali kani Kusivura kumu waka kudwe nani na Michisi Elaba na chinana mumbu ka hii Basivule Mwaya alini kauka Nenga asalu mwana we umuna Mula, wanchi kuni na yao kula hii. Era kato mo sisi dili. Ati kuwa manya kuti. Ingo yesi mume nyayo yao. Ah, zimbera kesi zinda hii kula hii. Na chochiri wao china. Alomati ni chichindi. Ba ba tuwefe. Ana mumu mumu na ana maka kuno ba kufireko. Ati ne ba ba fireko abo ba mnyabu gari. 
Bere ba bita mumi yaka Kaga mutano Norwecho Facebook Kuma lesi kumenyereko Kuyongere kuira vidi rabula Azine nga ama liza Tine vino vio siku na viruani Sapuche na alo matibale vangu Kabeba haku dawuli ya girekoba Tireta membership Kasi rinkesi mkua gako Kwa muyongere kukua Ate na nye muyongere kuwa Kukua gira batu bala Rana wakole chini Kasa sule Nikikindi agaluesa agani kirekati Waliyo baso mibabeza kakano Miyonge leo university ziliano Kwa mibusite mai kumi Kwa ma ku UCU Kwa mai mubusi Wosa na miyonge leo kuku wabana Wabana wonga baba girano Waliyo kasi lingi kesi wakua Kwa na mbasa ni miyo viva levanga Viva ukulu yesi vatimi sakansa Wiku munu wa gwana wana Liku wanyono kansu mkuluna habi utela kuira baka suwefe Mkansa azizo sizirio zingali Kansa wiku muna kwa nabana Nyu singile kuira vale bebefe Atinga Kwa kwa mpimi le kwa mzule nga achiru Achiru kutandika kulia Kwa mja anjava mutu ya terela Katanula china ukipimi samangu Kwa base za valiano ni vaka sumwe sizana Nise mbatu bomani Kwa sobo lisa kuipimi sa kansa wiku muna kwa nabana you are all welcome for this novel course. I'm here to present Treasurer's report, and I hope all of you have the report. Treasurer's report for the period August 2023 to July 2024 to the 27th Tasumbale Center General Meeting. It is with great respect and appreciation that I present the Treasurer's Report for the period August 2023 to July 2024 at the 27th Center General Meeting of Tasson Valley Center. I extend a warm welcome to all of you and take this opportunity to thank Almighty God for his continued guidance and care since our last meeting. As you know, Taso Uganda heavily relies on donor support to fulfill its missions. As Taso Mbale, our principal donor include the United States Agency for International Development, that is USAID, stroke UPMB, which stands for Uganda Protestant Medical Bureau and the government of Uganda. We deeply, we deeply, we are deeply grateful for their continued support, which is vital for our operations. Additionally, Tasombali generates some revenue from contributions from subscriber members, membership fee, and through local fundraising drives. This report is structured as follows. One, overview of the financial status during the previous financial report. Two, presentation of revenue and expenditure for the concluded financial year. Three, discussion of challenges and recommendations. Revenue and expenditure for the <coughs> during the financial year 2023-2024, Tasombali Center received funding from US, USAID through Uganda Protestant Medical Bureau, UB, UPMB, comma, Mosaic Catalyst Project, and Taso Headquarters. Total income for the period was <coughs> one billion zero seventy. I want to, re to apologize to you. are going to come and give us a presentation. Uh, you heard uh, in summary what uh, uh, the manager presented, uh, especially um, issues of such delivery, how many people we tested, that there are more men who tested more than women. Um, the, the women who uh, received um, PMTCT services, that they are 
the VMMC services we provided. Our clients are right now 7,000 in care, although we have lost a big number of them. And that there were issues to do with uh, cervical cancer. We tested so many, and about 72 uh, uh, became positive for cancer of the cervix and were given treatment. TB issues came up, so all these reports. Programs director and uh, Hope Mbali is an enabling partner. I will, I will uh, react to a report of the programs that were tested, how many women access the services as compared to the number of men. Um, countrywide, we all know, or globally, we know we have more women. That's what statistics has been telling us. We have more women. Uh, the ratio of women to that of men globally is high. So for me, the question is why do we have uh, this number? We have men who are living with more than one wife and they have daughters. So my, my say in this will be, can we as Tasson Valley and other enabling managers come up with a strategy to follow up and bring back those who are tested uh, to, retain, uh, to care and also sustain them in the retention? Because women have so many tasks, even back home. I have only Probably an hour would be too much for me to spend at a health center. But I'll br I bring this out because as an enabling partner in implementing HIV programs, we are implementing some um, activities at Mbale Regional Refer Referral Hospital in this, in doing this work is that uh, the services are so uh, spread, you know, in, in different locations. You find that someone comes to the to Mbale referral hospital, the JCRC side where it's supposed to be a dispensing side, there is nothing. They will tell they will test them, but they will tell them to walk across the street, cross to the hospital, maybe do the testing, come back this way. I am calling upon Tasso. Can we as we work with Mbale Referral Hospital collaborate with these people and have talks on how we can bring back services in one center said that if someone comes to test and they start from JCRC, can they be able to get all the services there? Said that someone is not told to go back this way, then walk back across the road. That's how people, especially young people, this is feedback from them, they stop on the way. Actually, on the first send-off, they stop on the road and walk back home. Same goes for the women because their husbands are counting how much time they've given them to be at the facility. Thank you. I'm Dr. Manuel Omala, Director of Bukedia Teaching Hospital, one of the new hospitals in the region. It's along Soroti Valley Road. If you reach Bukedia and you see nice structures, you're in the right place. Wow. Uh, percent of our children suppressed. It is something other centers actually have struggled before. Thank you so much, Dr. Bubaka and team for the tremendous work. Uh, my only humble request is that uh, we, we reflect uh, how much we are doing in syphilis and hepatitis B for our pregnant mothers. Uh, we need that so that we, are, we know if we are moving towards a triple elimination. So that um, I know you do it, but I think the next report should be very clear that among our pregnant mothers, this is how we are, we are, we are performing on triple elimination. Uh, the other one is on NCD. And the clients uh, actually mentioned that there is an increasing trend of NCD. And uh, what the program manager told us is that he's requesting for support from the, from the hospital to help with the management. I think we now have to look at the preventive measures. Otherwise, managing the increasing numbers is not going to help us. Let's agree on what are the preventive measures are going to put in place uh, to make sure we cap on the increase rather than just doing the management of, uh, of these clients. Then the cervical cancer screening, uh, I was quite uh, uh, perturbed by the statistics. 13% positivity is quite high. Again, it's the recommended 6%. Maybe we need to follow our clients more and actually uh, understand if they are really true positives. Uh, I, I'm not so comfortable with that figure of 13% positivity. Perhaps, um, we have uh, captured the comments. Um, some of them have been guidance. We're going to, uh, our secretary is capturing all those issues. Um, and I think um, before, uh, we, there's another.
the subscription that the director has talked about. I think the detail is on manager's report. Eh? Uh, in his communication, he talked of the 48 deaths. <coughs> These are the majority uh, above 56. And uh, if we go deep, uh, these are only clients of, uh, in sub, who have been in service. Yeah, like, uh, like uh, I communicated, uh, sincerely speaking, 56 is, uh, is, uh, is an age where I talked of that uh, uh, these are aging on these uh, numbers. On the other hand, the issue of uh, some of them who passed on, who passed on due to TP. Yeah, being a community person, we interact with the colleagues. And we also report this way that we've taken the TPT, we've completed. But when we are alone, we share, we say, ah, so somewhere, somehow, someone, someone stops on the way. So uh, it is from this that, uh, this is a true information, it's from this that I said that, uh, you know, TPT taking a uh, data for, uh, for six months, it's also a big burden. So I'm also requesting that the, instead of that TPT, let's embrace the 3HP, which is taken weekly for three months. Thank you. Uh, we have a question for you. So I've read the manager's report about men attending the, the HIV, but me, I'm coming from CDP in Auyo. We have a problem. Men don't want to attend. That's what the question I'm trying to ask. Why is the problem coming from? We find most of Sorry, men who don't want to attend. the women who come. So that has been a study question. Then another problem is, what because people are now well, somebody only has a problem like going to the market over some of these lorry drivers. The other thing is the business first. We don't need to tell you, today is the day for medicine. Say, ah, let me go to tomorrow first and come back. So I think these are the challenges we are now facing, especially when you as club leaders. Somebody just knows it, then it doesn't come. That's why the manager's report said that compliance is causing a problem. Because when a manager is not compliant, he is not able to manage the country. He is not able to manage the country. Mudama, you are not able to manage the country. 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 If they know your number, they will tell you you still have drugs. If you go to Barara and you, put, you get your number, they will say, no, you still have drugs. But if you want only supplementary, we can provide. But then there are some NGOs. I, don't, I recommend hope. There are some NGOs who are also doing the same work like Tasu. That's why for us, ours is, is completely calculated. So when you receive one, you take one yes a day, that one is okay. Every center knows how you take. Now there are some NGOs who have opened also a branch. <laughs> it was even table in parliament. That oh, oh, you people, you are giving animals you are drunk. But see, we are only getting one. How do you give animals a fleet of animals? <laughs> but we are only waiting for our survival with the dust of bad. Help us. You are, we are your government officials. Everybody is there. Help us. Let the channel be ARBP distributed by Dazzo, but not any other branch. They will spoil our name. That we are giving cows, we are giving goats, we are giving what? Thank you very much. <laughs> wow, thank you so much. Um, my guest of honor. Well, never say no, I was so much older than I was. Kili na zina ba, tuvo na mukama vongere mukseti wanete nukemudi. Amen. Amen. Yandaba mukama yego zima. We munda wa enotaso na lifute siye kasi yeye. Era ni waza kuseve yeye bali chia kora. Era munda wa niga atali mwadi. Owa mwe alasa. Ne niga atali mwadi. Wa mero kuki zama teka. Na yeye zama na go chato no chagani. Tuli na abuzibu. Fa malote wali kutua makere. Tugenda tu kutua manawe. 
kuwa mbuzi e chitu chana ke chikunwa muna ke ache na gaba muna gaba kene nde kuko ya nge wadde kuze e kwe gwani ya kubuli la jama kene na gata so gako la kumbogo ne mbuzi na gamba nida bano wa mpanga ku mama kene nda ne mpake mbogo kane mba densa haba sawo tukole nga luli wetu habi ilanga tutamlenge kwa mchalo oba tuwe londa mungo we munga angi ya tifuwe njini tuwe kole kwa mungula mungu wa fwe tuwe londa mungo tusonese haba ntu mchalo mungo mungu wa kuga manga kakati nganze aida ama kene na tegalina chegali mungo ya ndi gulu unji na yunga toma nita ama kene na gwega kwa kutusawa kwa kubela uoto senga tukola nga luli uwe tuwa kola nga ne tutambula kwa mchalo, ne tusomesa alabaluwa de, ne tusomesa na alabalamu, chijia kututa hasa chofo alaba kakuka kali kukwala chik, kwe hiyo ngera omutu alaba aliko gulunji agamba zendi gulunji, ama kere na enkoko weruwa la, tileka ambeke enkoko ya angi, luwa kubelu walina ya mubu ula, ama kere nda karo gakula kumbuzi, ne kumkoko senga mutu ya amba ne tumera kisi ya si okusome saba kumchalo, ne tusome saba angi No kusome sabwa kendera tuje no kusoka ni kwa laji ne tusoma kale nze hevi ange miyeli kwa ya tima nyo wa ndina wa wasili na anga wa mazo kumusuri le chitavo kwa ya tima le jananga mba genda mrabu ingenda mrabu ni wampi ma ni wanga mba kasukari mwekari na ye sika tonu na ye wano chituli na gagara ni wampa ndi kila orupapura luwavu kwenu ni wagaba gena na orupapura luwavu nga tiba kuyambia na wafabata kutugenda kusitula wansi kusituka wansi tuyamba barwade wafi wati ni baba isabubi elabu ya nage na orupapura luwavu na kati nchata ambula na luo ni wanga mba eh avantu waka uka nga mututamye kati mutuse no kutuwa habireyo mutaswa wanaki kwa rachi Era bwe naja ni mbulira manager wa fe ni muga menti kufa tuba tamye manager na ngamba mam timufayo na fe tugenda kutware doboze eri wanguru na fe batuwe ebyo mu bipima sukali na yo katsima nyo batu bilina na yo mutu yamba abasukali tubona abona ntifa tuli barwa de kama yebazibwa wow such a very very serious feedback and i think um I see um, the CPM take note of that you're going to respond, but also place to place, um, you know, they get this service this way, they get another service, they are, they, they are really struggling, and I think this is a powerful message. This is the true center general meeting. We are now picking the real issues that are going to guide the programming for next financial year that is going to enable us to give better services to our clients. Papa, Papa, Niba, Mai, Kwa, Simile, Nabi. Biro, Zobie, Semu, Kuele, Feedback, Semu, Kuku, Wai, Kuhuchi, Ira, Light, Lita. This is serious feedback, and want to thank you. Want to thank you, and thank you again. Let's go. Let me say, I'm suppressed. You know, today is in Stilonko, tomorrow is in Kandama, the other day is in Kapchora. So it is becoming a problem. I don't know. During those early days, there was a method which the center was using. I don't know whether that method has gone there. But this they can, can bring you, back. Can, can you kindly kind of mention it? What method was that? If they can bring back, it can help us to achieve so that we avoid these wrong phone calls and wrong addresses. First of all, it needs strong sensitization and mobilization before the CDDP. Every year they mention, I, st I don't know where it is, it is starting, because they say next month, can it be important? <laughs> Thank you. Alice Namarwa. The second of us, my way, where I'm at so, where I'm going to be able to say, it's all about the number of people who have come, 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 ne ishi yeshiwe kamani umakasi nyarapo raba nyarapo kwa ramu shpere kare si makota so le hufu sawa shi singana hukani hako a mungani kebe pa mananta ya denga ano paka sawa yeshiwe wakare chile nomeni k
For all our clients, since they are registered HIV positive. So that is ongoing, but like you guys. Uh, do you have any current um, information? Because the doctor wanted to know if we are doing it, if we are doing well in um, suppression, how are we doing in the, those other two? Yeah, thank you very much for that guidance. Uh, this information, we just didn't tease it out, but we, we have it. Okay, so can we promise that the next report? Um, like Dr. Guy did in the next report, let's hi we shall highlight it. Yeah, in it, this, this we shall have to highlight. About any cities, yes. uh, we are thankful to our implementing partner uh, who supported this, and as a center we took it uh, on. Can you kindly mention the implementing partner? That is Uganda Protestant Medical Bureau. Dr. Byron himself trained us. A built capacity here in the screening for the non communicable diseases and this uh, has can you kind of give that feedback in Luganda? Because <laughs> Sukari, <laughs> no uh, Dr. Byron, ya ya kule mbelo kusome sawa na ukopo. I think, for process of kumula, Dr. Byron wali. Mm. But now, because Dr. Byron, you can sign up for recognition. Ulo msawa from Kugu, avamu Uganda Protestants Medical Bureau, ya tusome sa, ukunja njave nduwa deze za sukari, pressure, nduwa deze za sigiwa. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, so, so can we now assure the clients that we now have capacity, we have the equipment to... Uh, but clients have faith, and that's why I'm here. But Dr. Byron, I'm here to be here. 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 Uh, 13% uh, positivity. Our our Lord, the the Na ye test is the two causes visual inspection or kutunuri la koka na maso. Twa to two causes test a kebera or kunonya a kawuka kenyini. A kakwata ganako u cancer. So chino chitula gabula zin chituli no kole nyo or kusinga kawo, or kuranti tutu kakuba chiala go na kuleme kukuna mchala yena, kutufa ako. Um, so, so the, the, the concern was, Doctor, um, I think it is uh, Papa Senna who raised this. I don't know. Never fail. In some of the people who are living in the world, they are living in the world. They are living in the world. Yes. Okay. 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 
Tumanyi nti bafuna kujanja burunji obata wanafuna kujanja bi. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, abantu betwa sanga twankozesa empima tuline empima mirunde ebiri. Ya via na ya HPV. This 72 were confirmed HPV positive. And our tests, we do them from the regional referral hospital with a gene expert. So we are proving that this test could be true. However, in the test, obviously, we have the serious uh, viruses, which are HPV uh, uh, 1845 and 16. Then we have those ones which are of others. Majority were 1845 and then 16 from the gene expert from the regional referral hospital. So we trust those results. We have a thermocoagulator here. Those that we are able to do, we treated using a thermocoagulator. And then those ones whom we were not able, we had referrals to the regional referral hospital and they have been supported. However, if from the teaching hospital, there is any other way of management, I think we would co collaborate. Doctor, we would collaborate and we see how we can refer some of our clients, especially the ones from the, uh, the Teso region, to get these services nearby. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, and I think yeah. that the Tulina, Eradia, because the Sao Ujapo, we did a sunny day for the Sewa, because the Sadi Yetala. So, cut your pill button, Yakendera. Yet, won't get a move, I that way answers a new back over, a gratuitude, Mukatalis study, and Yabi. And Piso Jetuli no Ruarero, see Abuja and Yabi, and Piso Yakuziza, Ufuna Kauka. Moga de Goku, Ukubanche Yako Seba Bulimese Tano, Naye, a no Jetulina Yako Seba Bulil, Vanuaro Mese Vidi. Nenge ili woku yamba wubo mtu wata naba kafuna, okulaba antasobola kukafuna. Echila ache nyongi la konti teri uo, nti nga, e, nti ya abuli mtu. Ababeta bie mwogu umuso mwoguli e, na makuwe kwe kwa government echa ageza kukwe tegeleza. Okulaba abantu chichi cheba singo, cheba na singo kwe tanira. Chebe kulani ngilo kuteka musento, umuso mwogu chekugeza kukuno njeleza. So, so in the short, O gambi enti, edaga ya liye mpiso Liye mpiso Liye ja na ye tuchari kezesa Tatuna toka okuliwa buli omu Tuche yongena ni edaga ya liye mpiki Si checho? Pakarabi wa kubichifunye bulu unje echo? Neta dokita kampa kule mkawo Edaga la liya maloka kasiwa Ntiriko la bulu unji Okay. Kati kumutende la kweli di kwe mutende la ukulaba ugeenda di, di kwa ze sootia Ukusobolo ukulitu usakubantu Kati waliwe bibuze vyo kubuza abantu bana alikiriza Abantu bana singa kweta agachi Bijibye bali ugeenda kubye bibuze vigeza ebitibu wa mwesa wazeno Na inga diyo liyama la doka kasi wanti di kola buru unji Na inga liyakuziza kawuka siri ya kujia njaba tusabe Nedi okudja njaba li soboloku okututu kako Kwe di nama li funi Ati, doktor, doktor kama Omutu ye na tobe leyo kufuna Kubanga utawa njizibwa Na inga to sobote kujia kufuna che Kuyambi Tutuke ko Tusoboloku ete gereza chiche chinzo kube mabega wejo Tukuo kuyambi obusani te Mama, ofunye mwini kibu sawo cha gambie? Ha? Sorry? I think that's what it's centered about. My dream. To go 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 Na ye tugeze zako kukende zecho Na inga tuwe yanziza nyo kutula ambika Tugenda kwe yongero Tugenda kula gana ne university wano Na haba kukua balala Tulusobolo kula antituwe tegeleza vichibye njini Evidi wanzi Mabega wachino 
tusobolo kubanti tuweleza bulungi nyo uh, echo kuandika project secho tuweyanziza nyo tula mbika wotyo era tuja chitu ala maso te bulungi tugenda piko lako tuweyanziza nyo uh, uh, there is to finalize with them our, our key issue is to get land where we can plant the trees because if we don't do so with the, the dwindling funding we may not be in position to serve our dear clients our dear clients as uh, uh, someone, has, uh, someone has mentioned about uh, some 2000 or some amenities that used to be given to you there was an avenue you used to charge some money which was removed and out of that money 25 percent used to remain with it the VHTs and our community workers. Right now, that money was removed, but plan is underway if our donors and our local resources can allow, we want to put it in the budget so that we can have something because that one alone has made us limp in many areas. You hear this for this partner is paying this, the other partner is pay, paying this amount, and for us that we are paying zero. So plan is underway to have that one resolved, given the 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 funding that will be at hand in the future. I think is that from to the budget of this financial year, which ends in September, our target is to make sure that the funding does not reduce below this financial year. What are we going to do? In addition to the funds we get from the donors, what other resource mobilization strategies are we going to put in place? That's a key message for, for all of us. And I would like to invite my brother Saleh to come and introduce to you a brief um, uh, proposal that we have here as Tasso Soroti Drama Group gets ready. Part of uh, CAC. And uh, as CAC, we were tasked to see how we can become self-sustaining. And it's not only happening at TASO. I think even at the national level, we all know that even the government of Uganda has been affected. And everybody is trying to scratch his head, including the PS, was tasked to see how does Uganda become sustainable or self-sustaining. Therefore, in that breath, we first of all said, we need to look at ourselves. Membership response has not been the best. And the, if you look at uh, this August house, this particular tent here, if I may ask how many of us have fully subscribed to different uh, or categories? <laughs>
like to get one hand from this side. What's the message from Adri Somali? I'm going to use Uganda. Kati tuvena balam ngatuina mani gafenga sidi for zip for maziku mopili guafen tuvena ngatuli ba mani. Oburate kati nga ogeza kof akakolo wekawa kaze sidi for zibera na mani kuyanti ziparansa oba diarrhea sidi for zibera na mani kuyanti ziparansa na e onuva ni mara kasera kuso walokuwa kibwe chura de chama ni nga akawaka kasi ni kati wekawa kaze kana fya sidi for zombie guafen zibera nti zisha ina mani kato orobuni na oburate obuti ni webuji da o guba Nyoruendo kwenye antivu kwenye ingira Katinga kofu No kwenye anto tani kofu na senzi za ukola No tani kano kofu na senzi za diary Kwenye anti otu kanae Katia weo No kwa kuondiri Kwanga juki no ochitu kano chima la momu Kwa mai na mazi momu vili Olina na kakolo Kwenye anti kakende za mai So katia weo No tani kofu kwenye anto mbili Kwenye anto mbili kwenye anto mbili Katia kwa kubela nti omurade kwa kati oyinza kwa kubuline kwa tuwa ina maniki kwa la mkwa hilo chitu kwa chitu kwa hile wetu kwa kwa sivu liomonti ya ye kwa la mkwa hilo kwa watu sisi omurade atandi so kwa nti akwane sa asia like ARVs neziza musidi fosi izo mbili ya mai nezifu na mani okubela nkazi Yes, I Thank <laughs> Tindwa leta maili kororo huwa luka kimi suja kama kumbaka tina kimi roki tina wali shudu ya banga ya mwibo toke leyo Imbuke fiti e arabisi ya tahu program Wabanga nanga humi ya kamalesi arabisi wa alwa nisa hauka wa alwa nisa hauka Basi halebe na moka mwani kumundu wa banga ya yomu ramu wa esi maria mi nisa leo Mwila ya mkula watu wani mabibu It's all about before you contract the HIV virus in your body, the CD4 cells, what we call the white blood cells, functions well. But uh, when HIV came in, it actually destroyed all the white blood cells, which was the CD4 count, the diseases, yes. So when HIV came in, all the white blood cells were destroyed, whereby other diseases were able to come in. That we saw called diarrhea, many others. So when ARV came, I was the one. <laughs> I was the one. When I came, I took all these diseases uh, by taking it well. Taking it every day. Yeah, the, the HIV, and you continue normally. That's why the body was also able to get up and start started normally. So that is what all about is. Thank you so much. I make a what? Because people say, after you have died, the widow and the children lose what? Property. And therefore, we have seen our senior colleagues from the police, prisons, the districts, those people when they came in, they were able to read the will and protect the, the family. Uru, bahu so, First of all, we have to appreciate you honoring our invitation. It's a special occasion for us, isn't it? And I would like to say 
we started is really how we are providing services and the challenges we are facing. So we are not looking forward to hearing from you, from what we have said. I represent Salam Bank, it is a new bank in Uganda. And I'm the executive director, Islamic Kitchen of Commerce and Industry, Uganda chapter. I'm also executive director of Salam Sako, based in Mbale for Eastern Region. John Byron, I'm a medical officer by profession, and uh, I'm glad I have two of these here. Dr. Brian is the person who got me a bed in high school. He was the year ahead of me. So, uh, allow me to appreciate, uh, again, uh, Dr. Baker and the entire TASO management here and the staff that we work with. You are good people. You give me a chance and the entire LSDA staff to come here and support you. I'm seeing also staff from TASO, Tororo. Thank you for that brotherhood. Uh, thank you for not looking us at the gate and you say, ah, uh, Matemuja. <laughs> Please get the people whom, uh, who are going to help us. And uh, I'm sure Galenda and the community health workers can help us to mobilize. Those people who are not able to come here, you can support them in the community. So that we treat all the people. Uh, let me allay somehow the fear that has been there. The positives that have been reported are not women with cervical cancer. It's not women with cervical cancer. It is women who have a virus that, is, that can cause cancer. It's not that they are having cancer, no. Those ones are having a virus that can bring up cancer. So they, those ones whom we say they have pre-cancerous lesions, pre before cancer can set in. So you people, it's not 76 women with cancer. Hopefully we agree on that. Uh, the three categories of people that really need care that I believe we need to pay close attention to. PMTCT, EID unit, the non-suppressed, the newly diagnosed, the Twakafuna. Uh, in Baker's report, he talked that amongst the eight that who had died who were positive, Four of them were newly diagnosed. So we lost 50% of those people. Two. So um, we all have challenges with hearing that you are living positive. And I would love to thank the members that can comfortably have fought this battle and they are living happily. So let us try to see how we can tender our support to people who are newly diagnosed. Uh, we are fighting with indicators, multi-month dispensing. That one is a sente zija zija. So easily. please don't say next year what's going to happen. But be sure, starting from October, we shall have funding. We don't know the, the climate that will happen, the financial climate that will fall up, that will come in. But at least be sure, we shall have funding to take us through. Uh, continue with your patient-centered care. It's really good when I give someone an art number, someone says, oh no, so and so. It's really, really. This is the reality. Uh, I remember when I was working at Ginger Regional Referral, trying to knock on water. And uh, members, uh, another round of applause. Thank you very much, uh, Doctor, for the encouragement. I'm Heidi Basoma, and I work with uh, USID Uganda Health Activity. We are a sister 
implementing partner with the UPMB. When UPMB is supporting through the support of UPMB, then we are really happy and we want to applaud the team here for the work that they are doing. I am representing our regional program director. He sends greetings. He's carried out of the region for other inquiry, uh, uh, for other engagements. But you are lingering, reducing overtime is a reality for all of us, UHA, UPMB, and these are real difficult times for everyone. It, it calls for innovation. It calls for collaboration amongst us as IEPs. Uh, so COVID-19 from nowhere, it started from China and all of us were affected. We don't know where it came from. Right now in Congo, uh, there's Mpox, uh, a very dangerous disease. We don't know where it is coming from. Um, and so many other diseases that can come and change the environment where we are staying. So as UHA, we have that component of global health security where we we, we, we monitor such uh, circumstances. And so when we are giving out medicines to, to animals like pigs, we don't know what repercussion this can have on all of us. A disease can emerge from there that no drug can actually do what? Treat and all of us. Actually does research here, and there's a whole committee for research in Mbale Hospital and the University of Pusitema. So we encourage the center here at us of doing research, and we shall also be involved in the research where necessary, and we are called upon to be involved in the research. To remind you, I was actually a CAC member here, I said yes, sir. Since that's so it's very nice to bring patients, there's no way I can refuse to give them this land to build the regional center here. I have to accept attention. We should prevent HIV. And HIV is increasing in large amounts also because of the increased population we have in the country. The numbers have increased. When I was in top there, I wish you safe and back to your homes. Thank you. I'm Mastura from the land of Sepei. I'm Cadet Assistant Superior of Prisons. Presenting Madame Osi, Madame Sima Morin, Senior Superior of Prisons. Uh, I did about the meeting. I was just got abrupt by my senior to represent her. But nevertheless, I managed to appear on time meeting for the good work they are doing. In fact, when I was growing up, I used to fear Tasso. <laughs> and I knew everybody in Tasso was a client. Literally. Okay. Uh, I also want to encourage our clients that life, it is given to us by God and also taken by God. It is God who gives and God who takes. The other day, uh, we got an accident and lost two at the same time. And someone who had HIV positive was like, me who has lived with HIV for so long, these people have been alive, they have been negative, but they are no more. So life, it is God who gives and God takes. Education, as, as told to us by our doctors, and I really appreciate the doctors. Our chief guest, my lieutenant of police, Tim Boscoloro. I'm a regional police commander, Elgon region. Muriene. And I want to tell you, even if I didn't know that I'm an important stakeholder, the first play here has sensitized me Correct. that I am a serious stakeholder in supporting our brothers and sisters living positively, in supporting the orphans who happens to remain after <laughs> HIV. My, my, my guest is laughing. Who are here? And me. That should you see this happening, please come up. They are leaders who can stand with you. Me, for one, I'm ready to stand with you because it's my cardinal duty. Okay, even if it has happened, that in any way a woman has contracted 
HIV. And you, a man, you rise up. They have, they have lost their lives by women being accused, they are beaten, they are killed. When they really, <clears throat> sometimes because they cannot stand to defend themselves. Yes. Of every stakeholder in supporting your rights. I want to thank you so much for listening to me. I am a stakeholder. I have been sensitized today. And I hope you as well took the message that will, will make us strengthen the way. Please give me a call. I'm only giving you my number. Yes. That you are facing a difficulty approaching police. But my number is 0775. 0775 And the name is Otim. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> our Lord Chief Bishop, the guest of honor, all our invited guests that have graced this Center Advisory Committee, the 27th of its kind since the inception of Tasso Mbale, allow me not to uh, go into the details of every uh, level of protocol since this has already been laid upon. Yes. But the importance of uh, uh, understanding that for us as TASO is that uh, TASO is built on strong partnerships. And whoever is here has demonstrated that partnership and commitment. And we thank you so much for making the time. Uh, to our dear clients, I worked at TASO Mbale from 2010 for about six, seven years. And I am very glad to, to the center program manager, I think I'll start from there, and your colleagues who have been there before you. Uh, you represent a very great job that you keep doing every year. And uh, Dr. Baker and your team that you represented on behalf of management, I want to extend my sincere thanks for not only providing the services, but also ensuring that the center runs each year and seeing that our clients have a smile on their faces. So thank you so much. Uh, this is time for us to provide accountability and you've done that. Yes. We have seen uh, not only the results in regards to our client services, the different indicators. For me, what I pick out the most is the fact that uh, the most recent improvement at this center has been among children. I have seen last year in a meeting we had very seriously here still uh, the viral load suppression of children being below 85 and now being at 95 percent. That shows resilience of our staff on that. Uh, viral load suppression for us as healthcare workers and as a team is a representation of all the other things that we are doing. When our clients suppress, two things are clear. One is that they understand the message, and then two is that they cannot transmit. So I want to use this opportunity, our Lord Bishop, to tell you that as Taso Mbale, at a viral load of 96%, heading to, uh, it is above the national average, because the United's goal is to have it at 95%. But Tasso Mbale is at 96%. So congratulations to all of us. That simply means that 95% of the people who are on treatment in Tasso Mbale cannot transmit HIV. The message is you equals you. A person who is suppressed cannot transmit HIV. So thank you so much, our clients. Now, we've talked about very many different things. I want to summarize. The time is not on my side. TASO's new strategic plan, uh, I'm sure you have heard about it in the previous uh, meeting, is now a little bit broader. We know that HIV is one problem, but it is affected by many different problems. I know the board member will be highlighting some of that. But I just wanted to bring it in, that 
TASO currently is looking at a broader range of things beyond HIV because HIV affects and is affected by many other things. So we are now expanding our scope. We are taking care of malaria, though we may not have the drugs at the center, but we are looking at that in the short term. We are looking at the NCDs now in a broader perspective. Uh, the members who have been saying the high blood pressure, the diabetes, I think the manager has now showed you that we have been trained. Now we want to look for the resources to also try and treat from here as much as possible. So our clients, we want to be, we want you to be encouraged and participate the way you've participated uh, with HIV. Uh, beyond that, um, I want to our Lordship to also inform you that at Tasso Mbale is one of Tasso's centers, but Tasso has a total of 11 centers across the country. And those 11 centers are in all the regions of the country. Tasso provides direct services to over 79,000 individuals. Uh, these are directly registered with us. We also support government through the public health facilities in regions. And we take care of a total of 250,000 clients, including those we support in the government facilities. That is more than 10% of the number of people infected with HIV or are living with HIV in this country. That contribution is made possible by this strong collaboration and partnership. And for me, uh, from the executive director and the members of management, I want to bring you that message that we continue to rely on you. We continue to be emboldened by this strength of the partnerships that you show us. So um, let's continue to move forward together. Another area that is very important for us at the moment, as highlighted in the strategic plan, is climate change. And we recognize the impact. Now, this one I will speak in uh, Uganda. Embera Yogulam, Erimukubera, Etawa, Nizibwa, Nembera Yogudi. A bit of a builder could TV in a Kumaradio, and Tembera Yogudi, Monsiona, again, a chuka chuka. Or walk bang and see again the Kuma, or when there are your Sari Bibida, Nembera, Ewa, Eokubanga, Abantuako Muka Munji, Unokova Fumbisa, Nokova Mamotoka, Karetaso Mu, Miake Jidako, Octantica Nomako, Wawe de, a new quarter of the government of Brabang at Kolachi, two teres and Bera Yogude, Banga, when Bera Yogude were better day. Then in Obram, we have to go and get a mass of Burundi. We have to not take the Obram, we have to take the Mutuvera. Then it will be done by the government. We have to take a We have to go and get a mass. 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 We have to go and Uli omari netaka wabera, tusimbe mitinga, tisija akujaona eja akubera oku, uteleza ambera yogude. Neta so egenda kuwa takanera wa muna mwe, tunonyeta katutaniko kusimba chi, e miti. Kubanga enembera tetuja kulinda ateso keku ono neka tujo ketutaniko kukula chi, okutambulila, okujino onyeze dagala. Kale, uh, obubaka ambati njagala kubwa tusako mwenabuli omu, aberenga atandiko kuchilo wazako. Kati mumbera yoguja njabi, ngechi tongole, to recognizing, uh, we understand that uh, I've had many discussions around the uh, sustainability and better NCB programs. These are Fezigendazi, Zika and the Rokubanga, Center, and Azota Zidi, the Zijanga to Zetaga. Now, yes, Center, Muyuganda, Katitu Zidina, the two Jacobera on the Tukava and Tibaduna, Tibatua Center, the Marat, Tibatua Center, the Marat Center, Muyuganda Kati. In Tasso, we are looking at a number of programs of Rabanga Tandika. Okunonya, Okunonya Zamu Center, a zone get up with Janja Bibafe, no Kuberanga and Bera of Engage Tongo again the mass. Kare, Jagara could take a deposit and the Kuria manager, Fenafena Baliwano, to Japta and the candidate to Sobole Yangu, subscription and members, a year to Yamba New, Karebuno Prejica, the Valley Kuisa, oh, Briomu Gera Mumera Yoga was over, a center, the Zikoma one is the Triambako, Okugata Kuzino, UPMB Zetua. 
Netula banga programu za feza community neze dagala Zige nda masu Kubiri Nti uh, Dr. Bali Jusa na yaba antubanji boge da ku uh, Prevention Nti obruwade Bucha asana sana Na dala mubana wawala abato Adolescent girls and young women And that be one of our clients Who are saying Take it up runja wana Bafemi bako leyo mu community Tetusa wala kwe kamitwe Nti ulichimuchi libu runji Kale njaga la tukende maso Nga tukua tila mune program Ezi ambako of preventing HIV mubana uh, Manager wana allocation and the work Members, uh, another hand of applause to Doctor for the um, good words. Doctor, we really appreciate the support from and the and um, oversight, support and guidance from Taso headquarters for everything um, and the support we get to support our clients. Please send back our sincere appreciation and cry. No, this is your home. So when we start addressing you as Mr. Jagwe, don't we really feel bad. You are our own. And we appreciate that you came home to support us. Um, I know our time is spent and we are moving fast. I have uh, on a... Wankuva detu chafuno obuyambi okuva muwa donors. Now it's time to tandike okwe kulamu omolipu. Dr. Grass to somewhere. Sare can speak to us and help us understand what does this theme mean to not only clients but to all the uh, Thank you very much. I'm Namiya uh, Sare. My name is Dr. Kaoba Pudaka, the Center Program Manager at Touch of Bali. Uh, today's theme is to have the communities in the lead. The, today's program is to have, to have the communities in the lead, to empower them and then help them to lead in all whatever we are doing. Uh, uh, as we, we move forward, uh, we, we are moving towards the 2030 UNAIDS goal of ending HIV AIDS. However, this goal is really ambitious and we, we need to pull up all our sockets. Uh, we, we have seen that at least in the past year we were able to avert all the HIV infections among the infants, the exposed infants. That is great work done, but that is not enough. Uh, moving forward, we need to look at how exactly do we sustain this momentum that we have gained. Uh, so the, the main area of focus will be majorly to have the clients uh, to have more emphasis on the clients being at the center of everything, let them be in the lead, and then, and then also uh, get avenues of having to sustain the, the, the drive. By this, what I mean is that we need to look outside the box to supplement the donor funding if we are able to, to be able to support our clients better. Thank you very much. The HIV programming. Uh, I pass on, I call upon all stakeholders, the government, our, our dear government, the, the district leadership, uh, the city leadership, to join hands with us in this fight. This fight cannot be won by one entity. It calls for collaborative effort for us to be able to do this. By this, we need to, to uh, integrate most of the services. We try to, to, to bridge the gap uh, and do well with, the, with the verticalization of services and the disintegration. Thank you very much. Currently, our clientele is, is at 7,134. Uh, and then we, we, at the same time we have a, a research project we are running at the Namakwekwe study site uh, which is looking at expanding PrEP choice. Uh, it's an implementation science study uh, under the funding the, in partnership with the FHI 360 and we hope by expanding the methods and giving a cocktail to our clients this can be they can be able to, to embrace the prevention methods and then uh, 
we, at the end of the day we avert the, the new infections. Thank you. Takezi nkumye bidi. Zowandi batengo yagalo kwetu sako. Ngosobodo gendo kichari la muno. Aga mikeka. Makuru ntisinga vate vale se mikeka. Ngabaya jiruka. Yero vandi fude wano. Ngabaya babaju dechi. Baju da kasente. Sijechu. Wali ya chari ya dodo wano. Obasukuma. Oba katunkuma. Ali ya sobora kulima katunkuma oba dodo. Mumwezi. Tuja kubawa. Tu sobora kona chi. Okuja. So chenge za kopa kubirizanti. Tu ino kuchusa. Tutuwa ndise mindset. Endoza ya fe. Ntutuwe mumbele ili okulindi ila batuwe. Tusoboro kubawa kone ketukola. Tusoboro kubawa. Ntipobo sisinka nyomuntu. Kwa ya gara kobo ya. Ntomu gama antisina sukani. Mugambe sina kapito. Sitejo. Kato ya jyo kubuza kapito ya gara ya ajit. Ya gara kuruka bitambara. Mifecho kuwa sete. Akuwe uzi. Nembise lukaji. Bitambara. It's what we say. Teach people how to fish. But not simply giving them fish. How many? A half? And I take around? A half to one. <laughs> but it's so much in it. Okay. When we are talking about ideation and value addition, this is what we mean. We tu ba tu to get a kubi into ebi enfuna. Or you know, catch tenge, no finish tundu chamita, no tunga muchi, a baga. Katelo shenge when chije chije kukasa baga no baji tunda emitwaro esatu joka kila uruzungu liyo ruzito dollar meka asatu zesente meka mitwaro ngapi kumi si chetu but you can see there is a difference between selling a kitenge and selling a kite a bag made out of what kitenge what am I of our innovation of our entrepreneurship, of our empowerment, is going to lie in value addition. A daughter of the land, and I'm very happy to be here today to catch up with my people and discuss matters that are for their development. Thank you. And hearing the veracity with which you discuss, the energy, the brilliance of ideas, the contributions, and everything, I am, I am, you know, contemplating and saying that if TASO center members in all the centers around the country deliberate with this zeal, brilliancy, capacity, whatever, then TASO as an organization is built on a very strong pillars, and these strong pillars can really take TASO to greater and greater heights. Thank you so much for being there. Indeed, a lot has been said, and in interest of time, allow me to go to on the voice is mine. The voice is mine, the words are for the chairperson. <laughs> Our guest of honor, the local government leaders, technical and political, representatives of government agencies, development partners, implementing partners, religious leaders, service providers, and fellow subscriber members to deliberate on various issues that affect client welfare, to provide feedback, and also improve areas as cited hindrances and service delivery by TASO management. The conducive political environment is one of the P's and adherence to the regulations of the government of Uganda, which has ensured that we continue to attract funding aimed at ending HIV by 2020. Finally, the board, TASO, remains committed to development of clients' welfare scheme and, manage, and management team has been guided to develop clear guidelines that will harmonize implementation across the TASO centers. This has seen great strides. On the board of TASO, I thank you for paying your subscription and continuing to propagate TASO's philosophy, values, mission, and vision. These are critical for TASO's sustainability, and I encourage you, each one of us, to invite more people
to join the Tasso family as subscriber members. And I deliver it to you. I hope you take note. I thank you all for listening to me. May you have a wonderful evening. And as you go back home, <laughs> we are coming to the end of the beginning. And Dr. Mronga is saying that he, he forgot to say something. Let him say it. We came with a very, very heavy heart. Keep your up here. Oh, we come on. The task of funding is reducing. There is a lot of problems we are facing. Yes. The good news we have this afternoon have said we are not going to stand here and give a small token within the pocket to support the so work. Yes. The work of <coughs> cash collected. We got the total cash 210 and total pledges 630,000. Then the total cash and pledges. Altogether, eight hundred and forty thousand. But I can dig we thank God for, good, for the good weather and especially for keeping us alive up to now. But who are you to be alive? Amidst all the challenges, health wise, up to now, and that God is still in the control. I appreciate the stakeholders who support and provide services to people living with HIV especially family members who have stood together with you. And I'm appealing to you all, including myself, that our attitude towards HIV, especially young people, or young generation, generation should actually change. There are certain things which we are copying from TVs, social media, and the outside, especially the, our dress codes have changed. The other time I was coming from the School of Hygiene and um, I was terribly shocked to find a very beautiful girl putting on a very simple skirt up for this uh, size and only covering her breasts. The whole stomach was outside even the behind part also was outside. Our young people have been taken over by drugs. That drug abuse is actually on the rise. Uh, one uh, 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 regional police commander. And the other traits we have made, uh, maintained up to now. How I pray. <laughs> that we, we should take a message from all these things we have seen today, especially in the drama. What to encourage people living with HIV, take medicines and a care for others through prevention. Remain faithful and honest. Stick to the instructions given to you because you saw that one from, I mean, the drama we saw from Bukedia. From Sorati? You will allow forgive me for that. And that's what I want to say. Oh, Baku Mohono, Muloano, Wapano, Wapano, Koba Homan, you're a little bit of a trailer, Rupa Mukuno, in the Mia Hua. Because we are all potential candidates, by the way. Uh, of this uh, HIV AIDS. So we need to work carefully and remain faithful to each other because each one of us is a steward of his or her own life. As you leave this place, remain faithful stewards. Lastly, but not least, I want
wanted to call upon the stakeholders to continue supporting Tasso in Bali, sustain all the services, especially the people who are living with the HIV AIDS. Pay your subscription, please, and the uh, pages you have made today. And I want to pledge that uh, when I go back and share with my dear wife, we shall also contribute 100,000 shillings. I want to leave, I mean to leave you and wish you the God's blessings. May you remain faithful and expect to see you even tomorrow. Don't worry about death. Death is already conquered in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God, we want to thank you for every word we have heard in this uh, AGM. Thank you for all the people you have used to talk to us. Information is power. And as we leave this place, may we not leave your praises. We pray that you place the food we are going to have and give you this cake through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen. Our fat manager is going to leave the whole this tent to for Nice <laughs> 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 <laughs>